Hi everyone, in the previous video we saw and learnt about creating custom VPC network and in this video we will create firewall rules. So what are firewall rules? Firewall rules define what kind of internet traffic is allowed or blocked in the network. There are two kinds of traffic, outgoing and incoming. Outgoing traffic is also known as egress traffic and incoming is also known as ingress traffic. These firewall rules control traffic even if it is entirely within the network, including communication among virtual machine instances. To create firewall rule, we'll click on this hamburger icon, we'll scroll down to networking and then VPC and then we'll click on firewall rules. To create a new firewall rule, We'll click on this plus icon. We'll give it a name of demo allow SSH. For description, I'll just keep it simple. Allow SSH. Mm. For network, I'll select the network we made in the previous video, demo custom VPC. Direction of traffic will be ingress, that is incoming. Action on match, allow. Targets, you get three options, all instances in the network, specified target tags, specified service account. So if I select all instances in the network, then all the instances in the network that we created will have effect or if I select specified target tags so suppose when I'm creating my virtual machine I've given it a tag of let's say allow SSH or maybe an environment tag of let's say dev so, and if I mention the same tags over here, then only those virtual machines will be effective, which have the tags mentioned here. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to select this option, all instances in the network. And for the third option, which says specified service account, we'll have to uh, specify the service account number. But right now, I'm just going to go with all instances in the network source filter will be IP ranges um, I want that I can SSH from anywhere so I'm going to uh, give 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 slash 0 for protocols and ports I'm going to select TCP port 22 everything else looks fine I would just like to tell you a small tip which can be very helpful if at any point of time you're confused with uh, what you have to do with these options you can just hover your <coughs> mouse on these little question marks and then you'll get to know what what it is for so like network firewall rule applies to this network target firewall rule applies only to these instances within the virtual network so everything seems fine. I'll just click on create. So the rule has been created for us. To check if this rule works or not, the way we want, I'll go on compute section and then compute engine and then virtual machines. We'll create a virtual machine and we'll try to SSH into it and see if it works. So name instance one is fine. The region I created the subnet in Mumbai and Singapore. So I'm going to create the instance in Mumbai. Zone, you can select any zone that you want. I'm going to select zone A machine configuration this machine type is fine for this tutorial I don't want to make any changes to the image 
and for firewall I'm going to allow HTTP traffic and even HTTPS traffic now we want to make changes to the networking so we'll go on the networking tab under network interfaces we'll select the network that we made so it was demo custom VPC and subnet is Mumbai and when everything is done I'll click on done and then create I'll wait until the view machine is ready there's just one thing that I'd like to tell you that is absolutely something that you should remember that you can only create instances in the region that has a subnet defined in other words it is must that you have a subnet in a region in order to create instances so this is one thing that you should always remember and so the VM is ready we'll just click on this SSH and see if we can connect through it or not this might take few moments or a minute there we go with say we have successfully SSH into the machine so I hope this tutorial was helpful and you now know how to create firewall rules and how you can create uh, VM machines that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment in the comment section if you think this uh, tutorial was helpful. I'm open to advices as well. If you think I can improve on something, that would be great. Thanks.